My brothers and sisters, the hand of Yahuwah was upon me and took me out by the spirit of Yahuwah and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was filled with bones and he made me pass among them all around and see there was very many on the surface of the valley and see they were very dry. And he said to me, son of man, would these bones live? And I said, O Master Yahuwah, you know. Again, he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and you shall say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of Yahuwah. Thus said the Master Yahuwah to these bones, See, I am bringing into you a spirit, and you shall live, and I shall put sinews on you, and bring flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put a spirit in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am Yahuwah and I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and there was a rattling and the bones came together bone to bone and I looked and saw sinews and flesh came upon them and skin covered them, but there was no spirit in them. He then said to me, prophesy to the spirit, prophesy, son of man, and you shall say to the spirit, thus said the master Yahuwah, come from the four winds, O spirit, and breathe on these killed ones so that they live. And I prophesied as he commanded me, and the spirit came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, a very great army. And he said to me, son of man, these bones are all the house of Israel. See, they say, our bones are dry. Our expectancy has perished and we ourselves have been cut off. Therefore prophesy and you shall say to them, thus said the master Yahuwah, see, O oh, my people, I am opening your burial sites and shall bring you up from your burial sites and shall bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am Yahuwah when I open your burial sites, my people, and bring you up from your burial sites. And I shall put my spirit in you and you shall live and I shall settle you in your own land and you shall know that I, Yahuwah, have spoken, and I have done it, declares Yahuwah. And the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, And you, son of man, take a stick for yourself and write on it, for Yehuda and for the children of Yisrael, his companions. Then take another stick and write on it, for Yosef, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions, then bring them together for yourself into one stick, and they shall become one in your hand. And when the children of your people speak to you, saying, Won't you show us what you mean by these? Say to them, Thus said the master Yahuwah, See, I am taking the stick of Yosef, which is in the hand of Ephraim and the tribes of Israel, his companions, and I shall give them unto him with the stick of Yehuda, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. And the sticks on which you write shall be in your hand before their eyes, and speak to them. Thus said the master Yehuah, See, I am taking the children of Israel from among the nations, wherever they have gone, and shall gather them from all around, and I shall bring them into their land, and I shall make them one nation in the land, on the mountains of Israel, and one sovereign shall be sovereign over them all, and let them no longer be two nations, and let them no longer be divided into two reigns, and they shall no longer defile themselves with their idols, nor with their disgusting matters, 
nor with any of their transgressions. And I shall save them from all their dwelling places in which they have sinned. And I shall cleanse them and they shall be my people. And I be their Allahim, while Dawid, my servant, is sovereign over them. And they shall all have one shepherd and walk in my right rulings and guard my laws and shall do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given to Yahagub, my servant, where your fathers dwelt. And they shall dwell in it, they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant Dawid be their prince forever. And I shall make a covenant of peace with them, an everlasting covenant it is with them. And I shall place them and increase them and shall place my set-apart place in their midst forever. And my dwelling place shall be over them, and I shall be their Allahim, and they shall be my people. And the nations shall know that I, Yahuwah, am setting Yisrael apart when my set-apart place is in their midst forever. Shalom.